guys. How are we doing today? Happy, happy, uh, what day is it even today? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I forgot which day it was for just a moment. Toxin, thank you so much for subbing right away. I saw that come in. Appreciate you, brother. Devblogs, I saw you in early on as well. Neo, good to see you. Pastel and Chosen holding down the YouTubes right now. What's up, guys? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty stoked as well, Pastel. That even rhymed on accident. Love you, love you too, Tax. And I really, again, super, super, super love you, man. Thank you so much for subbing there. So much. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. It's been a good weekend, right? It's a good day. It's actually kind of nice out here in Wisconsin right now. We hit 60 degrees. Um, you know, so my, my internet's going great, of course, now. So that is, a, that is pretty. I'm also wearing my standalone rig now. If you guys see, I got a phone here that actually shows me all the chats and stuff. So how many months are you at now, Neo? Dang it. 27 months. That's a lot of months. That's a lot of months. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna you know, you, how are you gonna get that time back, Neil? You're never gonna get that time back. <laughs> Thank you so much for subbing. Appreciate you, bud. Yeah, Taxi, we'll talk about it as I use it. Um, there's gonna be a couple disclaimers I say kind of probably frequently as I go through. Um, keep in mind, right? I you know, I've this is a like okay, so I'm not trying to have bragging rights here, but this is just apparently how it worked out. But I'm the first one to have the Omni one in, in my house with the Pico 4. And everything because the original one is with the pico 3 so i'm the first one to have it set up at home with a pico 4. um that's what jan let me know so i'm, I'm incredibly honored to have uh that bragging right i guess and uh to be able to show you guys so yes i do feel very fancy you gotta get some sort of gift the gift is my love and compassion neo is about to be poetry in motion you've been you're pretty excited aren't you aren't you past I, I mean i'm yeah, so I figured we'd talk just a moment about the weekend, guys, then I won't make you, I won't, you know, tease you too much. Uh, do, 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 do. I might do a little posty post on Twitter here because I was planning on just trying to post everywhere. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited, guys. I had a wonderful weekend, by the way. You know, I, I obviously, uh, Virtuix flew me out, which was super awesome of them. We went to Austin, Texas. Um, got to use the, you know, I, we, I got to try an Omni Arena for the first time. That was cool. And then I also got to try uh, the Omni One. Um, did a little 1v1 thing against Jan. Um, I posted a little video short thing, kind of how that went, but I actually have a much better one, like a long form one that's going to come out. You have a question on it already? Are they going to bundle only bundle it with Pico headset or can you just buy the treadmill? I, it's, it's so, so at its core, like what the Omni One is, is it's an all-in-one solution taxon so like it it will it, it comes with the pico and that's what it comes with right so that their software is like specifically designed or you know basically loaded into the pico so when you turn on the headset it doesn't say pico it says virtuix right and it's it's their software but it's using like the the pico sdk essentially i know i know my redeems aren't in um i know dev i don't i I'm running out of excuses for some of that stuff, but this is going to be a standalone stream, right? So I'm going to be on the Pico. So I have my rig here so I can see stuff, but Lumia still, I don't, I still haven't figured out with Lumia how to have it like actually relay the, uh, the, um, what am I trying to say? The, like the, the redemptions from Twitch to me, cause it just doesn't. So the price Neo, so they actually have pre-orders, pre-orders ready on their site. I do believe I'm going to have a code or a referral link of some sort, um, probably by the end of the week or so. From what i heard um so eventually i'll be able to share that kind of stuff for those of you that are that are actually interested um but it's about it's about 2600 neo it's about 2600 to purchase it and pastel holy heck holy hackers on the deckers pastel with the five gifted subs i appreciate you doing that brother who all got one lockery mogan sinistar croy jim Har grim harby and little spacies all just got subs from Pastel on the Twitch. Thank you so much, Pastel. That was incredibly kind of you. You're a scholar and a saint. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to have you guys along with me. Um, I don't know, like, like, are you guys, are you guys getting too antsy? Should we just like hop in? 
So, oh yeah, oh yeah, actually, no, I do have a couple more things. So this is an early look, like I've been saying, right? So, like, consider everything beta, right? So that that is a part of this here, is that... Hey, what's up, Ben? It's good to see Ben. Ben from Virtuix is the OG. I'm pretty sure, like, many years ago, quite a few, well, quite a few, just a few years ago. I know he's been around, I think, with Virtuix for a long time, but a few years ago, him and I were chatting it up on Reddit when I was originally looking into the Omni stuff, so... Ben's a real one. Thanks for coming in, Ben. And what, what even time is it for you, Ben? Are you staying up at a weird time for this? <laughs> Best Ellen, thank you so much for the 13 months. I really appreciate you, brother. Just over a year. That is awesome. But yeah, we're just going to chat for a moment. But it, all beta. Also, um, there's only two games for me to play. So we'll, we'll probably play a bit of a game, you know, maybe stop and chat for a second. Play a bit of, another, of the second game and stop and chat. We can go back and forth, things like that. Um... Where's the drunken videos? I didn't really get, I mean, I, I didn't really get too, too crazy, Dev. Um, Jay Brat was out and his cameraman got a, <laughs> got a little toasted. Um, but you got to remember, my, my Wisconsin liver can handle a lot. So I, I did not get to do the bull ride. Apparently the bull ride was done by the group the night before I was able to come out. So, and there's Squirrel. What's up, Squirrel? What's up? What's up, Merle? Good to see you guys. Good to see ya. Anyone named Ben is immediately cool. It is a good name, isn't it? Pastel, or should I say Ben? But <laughs> you're, why are you gifting so many subs? Thank you so much for now gifting Ben the OG a sub. I guess that is well deserves. Well, well deserves. Well deserved. Well deserved. But yeah. So keep in mind, guys. Everything's beta. Um, there's two games for me to play. It's it's Elite Force and oh my God, Benner Squirrel. It's dead, dead, dead. It's dead something. Dead. dead. It's zombie one. Why am I? I'm blanking. My brain. <laughs> Tell me which one it is, guys. What's up, Big Shoots? No, it's not Dead by Daylight. Qtrez? Welcome in. Welcome in, guys. <sighs> welcome. Welcome. <laughs> it's dead something. But that's the zombie game. We'll see right when we get in there. Um, and there, so both of these are games that were were originally developed um, for their like arcade Omni arenas, um, but these ones have been kind of you know obviously adapted for the Omni one, all that kind of fun stuff. No, so these these are games that were like built by by Omni and by Virtuix. Do you speak about the controller scheme they use? So it's the Pico 4 controls, which is it's all the same as like the Pico 4 Neo. Um, I don't know if you've seen the Pico 4 controllers, but it's all it's all the same. Uh, big shoots on YouTube. How am I? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing awesome. I don't know if you saw, but today we are doing a bit of an at home unveiling of the uh, new VR treadmill from Virtuix called the Omni One. They've been working on it for quite some time. It's at a pre-order stage now. So everything I'm doing is kind of an early look first impressions type deal. Um, you know, we're not going to judge if there's like bugs with the games or anything, which so far, actually, when I've played, there really hasn't been has been much. But yeah, we got to hang out with Olin. So that was the second part of the trip. Got to go over to Olin's shop. I got some stuff recorded from that that I got to um, work on getting out there. Yeah, that's what this is. So this is the Pico 4E pastel, right? So I own a Pico 4 that's sitting up here. Um, but this is the Pico 4E, and so that's why it's loaded with Virtuix. Like I said, if you start up the headset, it says Virtuix. It doesn't say Pico. It's all it's all their stuff in there. It's pretty cool. You saw that big shoot's nice. What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't see what you said, Q. Um, yeah, we are just uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna get in there. We're just gonna get in there and get dirty. It's all all our stuff. <laughs> that's that's right um yeah okay I'll, I'll probably stop uh, teasing you guys too much but yes i will cap it off with yeah i got to hang out with olin as well as the second part of my trip i drove over uh towards dallas uh to hang out with olin and uh yeah we had a great time we had a wonderful time got to record some stuff in his shop um you know got to hang out with him and and uh and have a good time so it was good it was good lots of video stuff to come um Actually, squirrel there. You is I. I don't know if I. Sh uh, oh yeah, I don't think I told dead dead bone. <laughs> um, I don't know if I told you 
yet, but your uh, gameplay footage from my visit was super helpful because now I can make, I have like a long form video of like my first steps in there that I'm able to put together and it looks, it looks nice. It looks nice. So I appreciate you being able to send me that. Um, feet dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll talk more guys. So like, as you have questions, we'll talk, obviously we got some Virtuix folks in today. Um, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what they, uh, what they want to, you know, let you know. Um, or, or they'll be kind of on, on deck to help answer questions uh, in case I can't. Oh yeah, Q treads. I mean, so that, right? So realistically, like the, the cat treadmills and the Omni are two very different things. Like, like you know, obviously, you know, they're VR treadmills, um, but that's, that's usually kind of where the differences are where the similarities start to split off, right? Got your glass of milk ready? Nice, Ben, nice. Nice warm milk. Don't fall asleep on me. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's looking up, especially when you move into the new place, I bet Merle, that'll be a, like a really good opportunity to like, you know what I mean? Like really smooth out the setup. It definitely feels different to walk on. And yes, the Omni one's heavier. The base is much bigger. I actually, so it got delivered today, but I needed to clean some stuff out of my office before I moved it in. So I br I carried that thing in, I carried the base of it into my office myself, the same way I typically carry the cat treadmills. And this one, <laughs> my arms were hurting. This thing is heavy, but, but it does have wheels. So once it's set up, you can actually wheel it around. It's just too wide for like a doorway really, um, to like, to just wheel through. So, but like, if you have it in like an open room, you can, you can kind of wheel it around. Um, a cute choice. I do not have a, uh, um, I actually, I'm, I'm in talks with one stock to get me the mounts for, um, for the Pico. Uh, I just don't have them yet. So no, no mount, no stock action today, but I am working now since I'm going to be using the Pico a bit more now that I'm, now that I've got the Omni one to use every now and then I'm going to, um, I'm working on getting some of those things for the, for the Pico. I just never really like ended up getting stuff, I think over time, but. I did carry it, Merle. It was heavy. I mean, it, it was definitely a bit of a scooching motion and like a lot of grunting and like, you know, veins popping and all that kind of stuff. But swole bar. That's right. Yeah. You don't, you don't get this thick for no reason, you know, spine, spine crushing. Are you up more durable? You kind of see better days cracked. Oh, you cracked the base of the cat toxin. That's impressive. But I, I mean, I, yeah, I will say like, you know, well, when, when it comes to like the super, super in depth stuff, obviously we're going to wait until, you know, it's a, it's the final product or at least like fully released for everybody. But, um, I, yeah, like build quality is top notch. I mean, I will say that. I mean, it's the thing looks beautiful and we'll all, you know, especially when I'm doing videos, you, you'll see obviously a bit of it. I tried to make it look as nice as I, as I can on the stream. Um, but you'll get up close stuff when I, when I do my video and all that. Um, so it's, it's good stuff. I think you're going to like it. Uh, Kira, thank you so much for the likes coming in on the Tic Tac, getting us kicked off over there. Is the Omni compatible? No. So the Omni one is only with the Pico four. So like the release version is only, so it's its own setup big. So like the Omni one is designed with Pico, right? And it's, it's, it's an all in one system. So like it's got its own store, like their own Omni store and all of that stuff. Um, before a bunch of people ask, and just so some of you have the answer in case others ask later on and I'm running around and busy. Um, they will have breachers. They will have breachers. So there's going to be a release kind of over time dev of the games. I do believe breachers is coming. I don't know. Again, Virtrix folks can correct me, but in the, within the next few months. Um, but yeah, yeah, dead zone. So, uh, yeah, dead zone and elite force are the two that are available for me right now, but more will come out and, and all that stuff. But they have like that list of like 30 some compatible games on their site. So yes, devs have to implement it on their end, Pastel. But if, the, if 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 a dev has a game that's already on the Pico market, my understanding is then it's rather easy for them to implement it. Obviously, outside of that, then then it becomes a little bit more difficult. But not, but like you know, like there would be ways that that can be ported. What's up, Andy? I did get the Omni. I'm actually the first one to have the Omni One um, in my house with the uh, Pico 4E, is my understanding. So I'm I'm lucky, very privileged, and again. Huge thanks to Jan and the team um, for having me out there and, and pretty much allowing me to do this. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts, to be honest. It's kind of nuts. They need to get showdown. That's a given. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds like, you know, I, I don't know everything, but it sounds like they're working on 
uh, you know, adding a lot of those, those, those types of game games as they can. So yeah. So like my work, yeah. So Merle's, Merle's correct or squirrel, sorry, is, is correct. He, uh, you know, they, they, the idea is that they, it's, it's tailored for the Omni. So even, so it's a, you're, you're basically your trade-off is it's like a slower release right of, of game titles that'll be out there, but they're getting, again, having like 30 some right off the bat is awesome. It's, it's awesome. Um, but you know, then there's going to be like a slower release, you know, and they'll keep adding them in, but you know, that's the trade off, right? Is the, the idea is that you get better compatibility, um, you know, for, for just taking sometimes a little bit longer for some games to get implemented. But Jan did let me know there will be, um, eventually that PC emulation software, right? So you can use it with, with, you know, other, uh, PC VR headsets down the road. That looks like from, from what he told me, that's closer to the end of the year. So. And you talk about streaming from PC. So yeah, yeah, just sorry. Just what I said, Dev. So, and that's the idea, Alan. That's the idea. You know, and either way, it's, it's fun stuff, right? So like I said, today, what we'll do is we got two games that are on the store. And uh, what we'll do is, thank you for the likes, Mr. Short, by the way. Mr. J on the TikTok. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll probably play, play a bit. I'll probably need to take breaks every now and then. Like you sweat on this thing and keep in mind their games. You can't use the joystick. Like I found that out really quick when I started my, my what's up crawler. Good to see you brother. Perfect timing. Cause I'm just about to switch over so we can check out this new, uh, treadmill. So the games are not free. So there is an online membership. Um, and then the games are purchasable in their store from there. Dev. I don't have all that pricing on hand, but that is. I believe like you can you can pay like for the year for the membership and or, and things like that, but you do have to pay for the games individually as well. Do 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 do. Okay, all right, all right. I probably teased you guys for long enough. Also, I want to make sure everything's. Um, I got a couple more things to set up as I switch cameras. So let's just get into it. If anything looks wrong or sounds wrong, just let me know. Again, you know this is very. Not a very different type of stream than the normal ones, right? But it's it's a standalone stream, which I don't typically do a ton of. So can I do a flip? Not yet. I think that'll that'll be like the Omni 3 where we can start doing flips, Olin, I'm pretty sure. So do a kick flip. You guys are ridiculous. All right. Well, let's switch over and uh and see what's uh see what's to come. I'm excited. We'll see you on the virtual side. So we got, uh, oh, hang on. I got to turn my other mic up. All right. So first thing, so the shoes guys, they're, they're not, they don't have shoes, right? They have overshoes. So you can use whatever shoe you want. So I'm using uh, a pair of my Brooks running shoes that I haven't used in the actual outside world for a long time. These have maybe even touch grass less than I have. So um, at least now they get to get to be used on the Omni. So that's kind of cool. What's up, Bixel? Good to see you, brother. Flip the whole base. It's heavy. It's heavy. All right, let me... Uh, uh, I need to get like a magnet on my um, chest rig here. Give me a second. I'm going to set my mic down. Don't worry, guys. We will be able to see the game once I load in. You see that little where it loads? That's just because it's waiting for the uh, screencast. So don't you worry. All right, little trackers. No. 
I will say one thing I keep doing with this is I put the trackers in the wrong way. I got to remember the light. There's a little light on the tracker showing that they're on. And I keep putting that so that that's facing the opposite way and then it doesn't go in right. I got to stop doing that. Wear the overshoe without actual shoes. Um, you don't see why not. Yeah, I I would want to try it. I I would be a little bit worried about it being comfortable. But maybe 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 like you won't have like a there's no sole in there. You know what I mean in a way. Not sole as in like what we have inside of us if we're not evil or whatever. But like sole is you know a shoe sole. You get it. All right, so I'm probably going to actually let's get my headphones in too so I can have the full experience. Hey, look at that, guys. You're going to see my extremely messy office, by the way. I did not clean it out very well. Ugh. But I will. So, let's get out. We'll do this so we're not staring at that. Okay. Let's get strapped in, huh? Ugh. Okay, let me just make sure, too, I got everything that I'm thinking that I need. Uh, I can see I got a little fan above me. That's fine. We're just going to leave it. Uh, okay. Very quest looking. Yeah, the Pico does look very quest looking. Depth accurate pass through on the Pico. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. All right. Let's uh let's keep getting strapped in. So so really that's all it is, guys. You put the put like the backpack strap on, then there's a chest strap. All right, so we're going to go like that, and then uh, around to Z-Waste. So I don't know how game audio and stuff's going to sound. Um, you'll have to let me know. But let's uh, suit up for war. Okay. All right, so yeah, this, like, uh, for starters, oh, by the way, so I'm locked in right now. Like, I can't move around. I'm going to press this button, though, here on my shoulder. Boom, unlocked. Unlocked. Okay. Suiting up for war, yeah? Like Ready Player One, yeah? Yeah. Very much so. But yeah, so... You know, this is us moving. So, the, but yeah, this is, a this is you know, Virtuix and Omni environment, right? There's an Omni there. You got a desk and everything. And again, guys, uh, what I'll try to keep mentioning, or that we should keep, keep, keep it in mind, is that everything's beta, so I don't, like... Why is this not? Okay, there we go. Just making sure I can hear stuff. Alright, we'll see. We'll see if that works. If it doesn't and I can't hear anything, we'll, we'll stop it. All right, uh, let's see what we got here. I'm trying to answer questions too as I do it. It is crazy cool, Crawler. You guys ready to see me run a little bit? No, nope, can't move around the home environment. That's right, Ben. I was just kind of kind of testing my legs out there. Stepping into something like that and playing a mech game. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good... Uh, I see what you did there. Okay, so... Here's what we got. We got dead zone, guys. Uh, I won't do first steps. Um, I, I'll sh that'll sh I'll show that in my video. But like first steps, I've done before. That's just getting you in there. Um, but we'll we'll uh, we'll start with like uh, what do we want to start with? Should we start with zombies or elite force? I'll let you guys decide. Do we want to shoot? Do we want to do we want to fight zombies or we want to? You want to do elite pastel zombies? I'm just gonna see what I see. Zombies elite. Zombies, elite. Holy shit, we should have done a poll. Neo, can you do a poll? Do a poll for, if you can, do a poll for elite force or 
or zombies. On the tick, or sorry, on the Twitch guys, by the way. So we're live on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. Feeling good. I got two fans this time, by the way, guys. I kept, I've got my one on my ceiling like normal, and then I brought in another one. Actually, I don't even know if I can see polls. You guys will have to let me know who wins. Oh, no, that's all right. That's all right. We won't do a poll. Let's start with Elite Force. I think I saw more Elite Force. Yeah. I know, Pastel. I know. Eventually. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to jump into Elite Force. I think. Uh oh. I might need to. Uh... Oh, this is why this is why we're trying this right now. So the last time this happened, my stuff wasn't synced up or something. So when I try to play, it's doing that. Okay, I had this before. I had this before. We got any ideas? Yeah, so my trackers are on. Do a little turn on the Omni. We will do a little turn. Restart the router. That's not it. That's not it. I know that's not it. So there was a... Basically, this. I think that happened to me right before I had... Um, had uh, everything calibrated to set up in the app, but I have everything set up now, so it should be good. Play mode and boundary. Oh. I bet. Omni one boundary. Play. Did you try turning it off and on again? We might have to. We might have to restart it. Kick flip. Oh. Oh. I gotta lock my phone before I do that. Yeah, reboot might be needed. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's reboot it. This is why we're doing this. And then, guys, my screencast will end, but um, we'll we'll get her back. We'll get her back. I had it, so that might be a you know kind of a cause and effect, right, guys? Of me leaving it idle for a while while I got the stream going. So that's all right. That's what we're figuring out during these. And that's why I'm excited to stream when I use this, because I think that, uh, you know, obviously that helps. Right tracker and left tracker did connect. Now I got that. Okay. But obviously that helps Virtuix and stuff as they go through this beta and look for stuff to fix up in the software. It could have to do with the casting. Oh, okay. We're good. Did that recast? No, it didn't. Okay. Oh wait, wait. I think I can. One second, guys. We'll get we'll get going now. All right. Let me. Uh, so okay. So one cool thing, by the way, I'll show you since we have the opportunity is I'm gonna take my headset off, right? Okay. But as I take my headset off, so you can either press this shoulder button to lock and unlock. Or if I take my headset off, if I take my headset off, it automatically unlocks. So let's uh, let's hit the cast button and then get get strapped back in. I think I did hear audio too. I hope you guys are hearing it. Well, never mind. You wouldn't have heard it because I wasn't casting yet. Ah Oh, I, I was doing browser. Oh, you need to click the browser? Is that a real thing? Well, I know I need to... Oh, yeah, yeah. I know I need to click it for this. Oh, going back to home, then back to library? Oh, you're so smart, Ben. Ben's the guy, man. <laughs> he is him. Uh, all right, let me... Uh... Let me allow this so I can do the stuff. All right, look at that, guys. We're in a game. Let's go. All right, Elite Force. 
So this is, uh, again, guys, so these are the early versions of these games for the Pico 4 again. I gotta remind you of that. And uh, so like this one, I think it's only like one map, but we'll jump in and we'll we'll kind of show you what what the running and stuff looks like. Ugh. And uh, as th the other disclaimer, whenever we're playing standalone VR, keep in mind, while I'm playing, I'm not gonna be able to see what you're saying. But I'll be able to check right here. Ben is the man. I can't do this. It's not Monday, but we did stream yesterday, so now we're 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 making up for it. Okay. Oh, shoot, I just reset my page here too. That's right. Okay. All right. Let me lock my phone in, guys. So we're gonna play a session, and then I'll check chat after. Okay. So please answer questions for me. Uh, make sure all hands and feet. And whatever other appendages you may have are safely in the cart. And uh, let's uh, let's give her a go, huh? Let's do it. All right, we got some bots here. Let's capture. We're just gonna do a death match, okay? Shoot everything. Match time five minutes. Are we still live? We're still live. Also, Merle, if you end up thinking that the gameplay looks nice and smooth, I am using Live Vision Kit this time. Um, so if it looks really nice, that's a good test of like, you know, the standalone setup. Um, I can send you which exact settings I'm using for Live Vision Kit as well, since we talked about that. Just While make sure in the you, game, you DM press me the menu button, button to view the remember. scoreboard and controls, or to return to the menu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just let me know if it does look nice after this playthrough, and then I think we're all right. I thought it was looking Death nice, match. but... Eliminate all hostiles. All right. We're getting locked in, guys. Choose your weapon. And then after this, if there's any issues, well, we can. Assault class select. I like the assault class. That's what I was playing. Prepare to engage. Three, two, one. Move out, soldier. Bot eliminated. Nice shot. Oh, reloading. Good job. Target down. Excellent work. Oh shit. Ah. Great oh. kill. Oh, Tango down. Excellent job. Definitely over here. Good work. Hostile down. Nice work. Excellent kill. Come on. Target eliminated. Great shot. Supply helicopter. Oh, inbound. you guys are like this. Get to the drop zone. One minute remaining. Give me him. Target eliminated. Great work. Supply drop landed. Ah. Get to the drop zone. Nice shot. Don't get down. Not killed. Excellent. 30 seconds remaining. Nice work. Bot down. Good kill. 15 seconds oh. remaining. Kill confirmed. Nice shot. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work out there, Private. Catch your breath. You're gonna yeah, need I'm it. gonna need it. No lube.
Yeah, frame, that's kind of hard with the casting. I might be able to find a, a better way to do it at some point. All right, soldier. It's time to continue the fight. Get ready. We're going back in. We're going back in already, guys. Choose your Shit, weapon. I can, uh... I can actually turn that on, Bixel. I didn't even think of it. SMG class All right, we'll try the selected. SMGs. Prepare to engage. Three, two, one. Move out, soldier. Excellent kill. Eliminate okay. my I enemy bot. The SMGs aren't long range enough for me. Choose your weapon. Assault class select. Yeah, we gotta do the heart rate monitor. This makes you run, guys. I mean You're in first place. Target down. Good shot. Nice work. Oh my gosh, we have two spots. Oh. Eliminated by oh. enemy bot. Clancy. Choose your weapon. Oh. I get so tired Supply so fast. Helicopter inbound. Why am I out of shape somehow? You're in first place. Okay, right, many guns. One minute remaining. Bot kill. Great job. Supply drop landed. Ah! Oh, oh shit. Flying around. Seconds remain. Target eliminated. Nice shot. Excellent shot. Bot down. Great kill. Fifteen seconds remain. Fifteen seconds, home stretch. Three. Five. Four. Three. Two. Oh. Nice work out there, Private. You finished in first place. Damn right I did. Great job. Mission accomplished. Get some rest, soldier. You deserve it. Oh. That is the stuff, man. back home and chat for a second now that we just did a run yeah, I, I can take this headset off and then now the back locks so I'm good and chill Let's see what you guys got to see all right JP thank you so much for the likes thank you guys for the follows on the TikTok. What do I got here? I got a Kiki, a Jason, and an Austin. Thank you guys for all following. What's up, Pixel? Can you do the fine movements you might use the sticks for? I mean, oh, what's up, VR Central? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty exclusive right now, VR. I do actually... I think I still I have the bragging rights of being the first one to have it at home with the Pico 4E. So I got I got kind of lucky there. I am out of breath, which actually Bixel brought up a good idea. Let me um 
let me get pulsoid going and you guys can actually monitor my heart rate and uh maybe tell me before i have a heart attack now this thing like the same thing happened to me at virtuix i mean i was booking it and immediately sweating i like i'm, I'm so excited like these games are fun and all but i'm so excited for like breachers and games like that to come out just because you know that'll be like the real real competitive stuff you know All right, there we go. Now we got a heart rate up. Ugh. Oh, you don't use your cat one anymore? You too, squirrel? Twitch Insta Sensors Lube. Oh. What's the plan for PC VR? So, so PC VR is kind of like a secondary, right, for this, since it's all meant to be its all in one thing, Pastel. Um, but Jan, let me know that towards the end of the year is when their um, PC emulation should come out for it, which means that I'd be able to use it, you know, with like my Quest Three or my Index things like that. So that is neat, and I'm also excited for that because obviously that just really opens up the possibilities. But yeah, for now it's. Uh, it's it's everything in the omniverse, but for me it's the two games, just because we're still early. So here we'll play Dead Zone Zombies, guys. After I take a second, what's up, Ark? Slash Arlen, welcome on in. Thank you for the like, Central, and the TikTok. That was a two minute match, yeah. Chosen, I dare you gotta you gotta get up on it. This is not PCVR, no no no. Pox, what's up? Welcome into the TikTok. All right, guys. We are gonna check out some zombies, so let's uh, let's see what this is all about. I mean, I, I already know what it's all about, but I'll show you guys. This is a pretty neat one too. Hunt to survive. All right, who's ready to kill some zombies? Okay, we'll keep the intro in you're here to prove to the world that you're the best team of zombie hunters out there. You'll be clearing out zombie-infested areas known as dead zones. In each run, your team will kill zombies and avoid losing lives to get a high score on the leaderboard. If your team loses too many lives, your run ends and your score will be penalized. Load up. It's time to hunt some zombies. Sure is. All right. So, yeah, we're doing dead zone. So, we're going to run around and shoot at some zombies, folks. What's up, Gopi? I love you too, brother. Good to see you on the Tic Tac. When was the last time I used my index? It's been a long time, Pixel. What I've been waiting on is the Nofio attachment, and it sounds like they've been having some troubles. Also, I think I have another, uh, like, my millionth drift issue on my left uh, index controller. Five minutes is kind of, yeah, like, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, um, let me show you. New zone unlocked. Kramer rail yard. Oh, we can unlock some more stuff. Okay. 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 Kramer Rail Yard is up first. I gotta it's overrun here. with zombies, and they're knocking on the door of our base. We need you to thin the oh, horde squirrel. immediately to ensure our safety. Oh, best team Good luck. star. Okay, I see you. When you're in the game, press the menu button to view the controls or return to the menu. I see Ben up there a lot. Okay. We're going to have to maybe go for some of these at some point. I'm sure I'm not going to beat you guys right now. Before How's getting backpedaling started, compared? you'll Let's try need it. to gear up. Red you can Legend will come into the Tic Tac. One in your right hand and one in your left. Use the grip button on your controller to so grab. Like, You've got your weapons, but they're out of ammo. To refill your right weapon, I mean, you do get you get propped up a little right bit better. To refill your left weapon, but like it's, grab ammo with your left I, was, I still got to practice Try it, but like refilling your weapons. You can do it. You can definitely do it better than on the catwalk. I would 100% say that. Right gun, empty. Your weapons are ready, but you're low on health. To heal up, grab a health pack with E Ray. You're ready. The containment yeah, doors are like opening. These, uh, Move out. These maps, but okay. So subtle movements. Yeah. So like, I mean, little steps do little steps, but like, you know, like, like if I wanted to like jiggle peek, I would still have to like, you know, kind of, kind of move side to side like that. 
Um, there will be okay. So, so I will I will preface this with some of like the main online games, like the ones built by Omni, um, don't seem to have the joystick movement, but like Breachers will, and things like that. Kramer Rail Yard. I will say movement is nice and smooth. Kill all zombies to clear the wave. Oh. Amazing aim. Headshot. Get to the safe zone. Dead shot. Decontamination sequence activated. You're good to go. Resupply and keep moving. Resupply. Hunt oh, them all down. Medkit. to the safe zone. Got more stuff. Maybe this one's got a magazine mod too. Looks like we got company. We got a juggernaut on our hands. Holy shit! Okay. Look out! Ten, 
Watch out! Explosion kill. Oh shoot! Five seconds. Three, two. Can't get this juggernaut. One. Watch out! We definitely gotta quicken it up hey, next time, but it's time to see the final score. Okay. That was oh, tiring. Um, are there any sports games? Uh I don't know if there are right now. I'd have to check their uh the list on their site, Pixel again. Latency is very low, like Ben's saying. That's the other thing I need in here. Uh. Oh, I thought it locked. It. It's because it locked already. Okay. That's one thing I do need in here is a towel. Oh. Do I have anything? I'm sweating all over the place, boys and girls. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, totally baseball. Okay, okay, so there's baseball. Yeah, my highest heart rate ever was playing uh, on the catwalk, um, playing uh, Population 1, and I clutched up while also uh, simultaneously getting like a 180 heart rate at the end of it all. That was pretty intense. Huh, this is getting me up there, though. What time are we at? Price of what I have on screen, tell not included. Uh, so I mean, the whole the whole get up for the Omni One, it says like you know, like I've been saying, it's an all-in-one package. Is uh, it's about twenty six hundred, I believe, plus shipping. Um, and then you have like the online membership um, and, and the individual games that you pay for. All right, I'll complete one map. Oh, okay, I was gonna say unlocked. we had to have unlocked something. Hide out canyon. That's cool. All right, so we got a canyon unlocked, guys. Yes, with headset. So, like, I mean, yeah, when you buy the Omni One, you're getting everything here. I mean, not my chest rig. Yeah, yeah. So that, like, like that's the point of it, right? Uh, pastel. seen a mod for it for a seat yeah I mean I will say that is one thing that I that I really love about the catwalk is the seat I mean just being able to like you know pop a squat when you're chilling is, is nice I'll agree about that Ugh. yeah yeah I do, I do think it starts to you know and I mean it, it, the, ideally like especially when they have kind of like their more full list of games and again this is all early like you you can only pre-order it right now anyways um, they'll have more games on release and all that kind of stuff, but I mean there's There's stuff to play here You know and I'm pretty used to running around in these things, but you, you can't do it for You know several hours Hide out At least I can't is next. There's a medical camp there full of supplies. Oh my gosh. I'm the, I'm the last We need That's your right. help to clear it out. We'll get up there. Good luck All right, hideout canyon will do and then we'll probably towel off for a sec Hide out canyon. Handgun. Lock and load. Move out. Make every shot count. A little bit of Arizona sunshine vibes here. Kill all zombies to clear the wave. Amazing aim. <laughs> Revolver. Spike back. Oh, come on. Excellent kill. Boom, 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 boom. Shrieker nearby. What the heck was that? Amazing aim. Ammo 
about that. Strong shot. Shrieker nearby. Excellent. <laughs> Contaminated. Get to the safe zone. Ooh, a second. Spike back. Another bit. This zone is contaminated. Get to the safe zone. Decontamination oh. sequence activated. Uh. Uh. You're good to go. Resupply and keep moving. Ammo found. Put them all down. Take him out quick. Great shot. Crawler down. Nice shot. Amazing it. Oh. Ten seconds. Get your last kills in. Shot five seconds. Page three, two, one. This zone is contaminated. Get to the safe zone. We're safe zone. Great Good. kill. Ah. Nine. Oh, this no. zone is contaminated. Me. Get to the safe zone. Ah. Decontamination sequence activated. You're good to go. Resupply and keep All moving. right, do I want anything else? First aid. Got some first aid in there. Um, I do not want two shotguns. Revolver. Actually, Spiked back. Here, I'm gonna do this. Shotgun. Mega shotgun. Magazine revolver. Spiked back. I'll go back to the revolver. Juggernauts, there's two of them. Light them up. Explosion. Look out. Great shot. Try not advice to melee them, is it? Looks like I have the worst gun for them. Look out. Look out. Shotgun. Spread shot. Oh. Right, 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 
Need more ammo packs to reload. Need more ammo. Huh. Ammo Watch out. Well done. Juggernaut is down. I think they're down. tough, man. This Ten is. seconds. Get your last kills in. Amazing in five seconds. Not three, two, one. Some of the scores you guys got, you must be really booking it. I gotta get there. All right, let's just pause for a sec. I might need to find something to wipe all this down, guys. I'm sweating like crazy in it. Is that hard to do, Ben? I always thought I was good at something. I'm happy I was able to take out two juggernauts. Ugh. Those things are, are brutal. T for God, yeah. I've heard that one's really good. I still haven't played that. Oh. I mean, I think that feels great. Like I, so I'll compare and stuff eventually, right? Um, I, like I, I do it. Like on the Omni, you can, you can, you can, you can kind of pick up like your feet a little more. So I think that's like I'm, uh, I'm sweating more than I feel like I've ever really sweat this quickly into a stream, right? Because at the end of the day, this device is meant to be for, meant like a fitness thing, right? And it's it's doing its job, man. It's doing its job. What's up, Dev? Oh, you're telling uh, YouTubers to come to Twitch? That's nice. Oh. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to grab a towel because, like, I'm I'm just, I'm drenched. What time are we at? Okay, nine, so we'll probably be able to play, like, another game yet. So, yeah, you can... So, you can... All right, let me, let me lock my phone up here. You can jump. Yeah, you can jump. You can jump pretty good. I feel pretty stable. Yeah, vol volume dropped because my mic was away from my face. Wait, wait. You can still hear me though, right? Sorry, was I just talking too far away from it? My bad. Pros and cons versus catwalk. I'm gonna wait. A, I'm gonna wait a bit before I really get too far into that pastel. Um. I, so again, in all fairness, um, the the Omni's not ready yet, right? There's only two games available for it, so I just don't, I don't think that it's fair right now to do a pros and cons. I think both are obviously both are a bit different. You can run on both, you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I mean, like like the initial thought right now is I'm getting oh I see the cast stopped. I'm getting a hell of a workout on this thing. I'm sweating more than I've ever I've ever sweat this early on. Got to gawk, gawk that mic, <laughs> apparently. Nice, Ben. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'll be able to hop in at least uh, either Friday or the, the community night. You guys are, I guess, I, I don't think I can do it Sunday. I haven't answered your survey yet, Ben. I will. I saw it come in, but I was doing stuff. Um, I know Sunday I got I got Easter plans with the family, but Saturday I might. Let me get a towel, guys, and then we'll do one more run, okay? We're going to do uh, whatever the next zombie map is. The OS interface. So the OS interface in this, I mean, it's a lot like the Pico because it's built on the Pico, but it's like kind of their own setup. I mean, it's it's very it's very clean, right, and tidy, you know. Um, uh, but but it's still being worked on. Okay, give me give me just a second, guys, and I'll be right back. Like I said, I'm just gonna grab a quick towel, and then we'll do it. We'll do one more run here before we chat at the desk some more.
I'm gonna. That's my next addition, by the way, to my chest rig here for streaming. Is is a little towel thing that I can. I got a little care. I got a little extendy thing. I'd like to have a little towel that I can use to to wipe myself off. Oh, cause Daddy's a little dirty right now. All right, give me give me just a minute, and uh, and we'll be right back. You see me go invisible there? Oh. Does it feel any more native than uh the joystick emulation? I I mean again that's that's something that I kind of want to answer like a bit more later on 2 pixel like I mean in in the two games that are that is available like yeah I mean I think it feels incredibly native, right? But like I, that's that's incomparable, right? Cuz like you know maybe like when Breachers comes out um, or, or some of the, the games that are kind of available as well elsewhere, that's a little bit easier to compare. Uh. All right, well. Also, this little front thing, by the way, guys, is storage. You guys probably didn't hear me, couldn't hear me say that, but this front thing is storage, by the way. So this actually comes with like a little towel, but that's for cleaning the Omni base. Um, it's got a little scrubber thing and, and all this other stuff that you can put in there. And obviously maybe I can put like my stinky sweat face towels in there too. Oh yeah. How are things looking on the stream so far? Was it, is it looking pretty, pretty all right? Pretty straightforward. Woo. Hoof da. Okay. We'll do, we'll do probably like one more run of the zombies here, guys before we chat at the desk some more but um obviously we'll be we'll be using the 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 omni one um pretty frequently we'll we'll alternate in and out right like i'll still be on the cat for for the general gaming stuff but you know especially as more games become available for the for the omni i'm going to want to try them all good good i'm happy it's looking good i see i don't ever been you know i never really do standalone streaming actually every time i have it's not gone the greatest but i think i got it down All right, I finished my drink. Let me take a sip of water, guys, and then we'll be, we'll hop in. I got to get the cast going again.
Wisconsin, Arlen. I'm from Wisconsin. So yeah, we're we're oof to folks over here too. Or oh, you know, didn't see a there. Things like that. By the way, guys, a fun fact about the Pico 4E that I learned when I was looking it up and and you know just figuring stuff out for the uh, the old Omni here is uh, the facial interface is, is kind of designed actually to be more like more used more sweated in things like that all right let me start the screencast guys cast the screen there we go all right give me a second now Is it going to like it? Are you going to like me right now? There it is. Screencast. <sighs> Look at us. All right. Let's do another level. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty big sweater. So I like, I was actually impressed with, with Jan, by the way. I mean, the guy... 1v1 me in jeans for gosh sakes and uh and by the end of it i was drenched and he was not sweating at all i don't know merle i don't know merle you and ben like ben do you guys sweat a ton when you're doing this these days or i always kind of i'm i'm a, I, like I, i'm in general i sweat a lot when doing things but hot damn i'm sweating using the omni one Oh, scroll the bounce. Oh, all good, all good. Yeah, Jordan, no problem. I saw you on the YouTube, by the way. Sorry. Uh, on a standalone stream like what I'm doing now, it's 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 kind of harder to see chat all the time. By the way, I have a question for my for my typical viewers. Do you guys do you guys think I should keep? So I wanted to have my um, my camera view of me be a bit bigger. Should I keep it this size for all for like my typical streams and and all my stuff now? Should it be? I don't know. You like it? You know, it helps show off the treadmills a bit more. I might, you know, my thought is I always want to, you know, you can see as much gameplay as possible, but I guess it's kind of fun to still see the, uh... New zone but this unlocked. game has more to it than Mars I thought it was. Outpost. When we played, um, when we played, you know, obviously I played the Omni Arena version, I thought that there was just one map, but it's kind of cool that this has a little bit of a progression here. You like the smaller size pixel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to keep playing around with it. You work up a sweat, but you usually wear jeans. You really do, Ben? You got, you like, you OG Virtuix guys are absolutely animals. Cause like, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how you can do this in jeans. I think I, 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 you know, there was a time where I like was testing some stuff out in the catwalk in like the middle of my work day. And I was like, I just wanted to like try a couple of things and I was in jeans and I was just like, I can't do this, man. Like, sometimes I'll wear joggers, and that's a horrible idea. All right. Marsh Outpost is next. It's full of ammunition and military supplies that will help right, us we're gonna get our fight. scores You could going. be a great asset in this mission. Dang, yeah, Good Merle's got a, got a hell of a score there. Marsh Outpost. Hand up. Lock and load. Move out. Oh, hang on. Make every shot count. Okay. We calibrated. Okay, so to calibrate, by the way, you just hold your home button down for a couple seconds. So, nice to always have a quick calibrate option. Kill all zombies to clear the way out. What the heck was that thing? I'm like face, face hugger type stuff. Alien eggs. Fire eight mod. Excellent. Shotgun. Amazing. 
Rising aid. Oh, is there an AK? Oh, my dreams! My dreams are coming true. Assault rifle. Magazine mod. Explosion kill. Not a shot. Oh, let's book it. Get a second wind here. Crawler incoming. Take him out quick. Great kill. Crawler down. Explosion kill. Nice shot. Get out of here. Ten seconds. Get your last kills in. Five seconds. This zone is contaminated. Get to the safe zone. Decontamination sequence activated. You're good to go. Resupply and keep moving. Ammo tap. It's upgraded. Spread shot mod. Shot Spread shot mod. Put them all down. Trigger nearby. Oh! I thought it was a crawler. Great shot. Speaker nearby. Great shot. Amazing aim. Oh, crossbow. Pro magazine mod. Nice shot. Great shot. Great kill. Great shot. Nice shot. Trigger nearby. Explosion incoming. Stuff. I gotta be running around more and finding all the stuff. You're good to go. Resupply and keep moving. All right, let's see. Well, we definitely need the help, but we Left really need the ammo empty. here. Well, might as well have a bat. Spiked bat. For when we do run out of ammo. Any ammo? Looks like we got company. We got a juggernaut on oh, our God. hands. Right gun empty. Look out! Excellent shot. Excellent shot. Oh, give me the sword. Guitar. Oh. Look out! That's an even stronger one. Great shot. Excellent kill. Amazing. Ooh. Look out. Great kill. Nice shot. Oh no! Oh no! I 
That's hurting. That's hurting. Watch out. Explosion. Exploder down. Step it up. Man, that is that is a lot of running. I like it. Yeah, I gotta I gotta start approaching the the, the leaderboard guys after some practice runs here. Oh. Oh. Here comes the Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah, you see two cores leaky. How's the Omni One? I, I'm liking the Omni One. They're they're both they're both different, right? And you know, both have their are kind of for I, I think like kind of technically both are kind of different for different demographics in my opinion. But um, it's a it's this is a really early look, right at the Omni. So I'm the first one to have it at at. A house right at my house and with the pico 4e so th there's only two games available for those of you that don't know uh, um but that's just because i have an early version the full release version obviously has more games and they have 30 some that they've posted on the site that i believe are going to be released a, a bit over time but yeah like i will say one thing i'm experiencing on the omni is i'm getting like obviously sweaty or more tired faster because like i mean i do feel like so if i if i do this Yeah, so I can, you know, you like really can pick up your feet when you're going. But yeah, that is sweaty. Let me, uh, uh, let me get over to the desk, guys, so we can chat some more. But that's what I'm doing for tonight. We're going to be doing a lot more, obviously. Oh, shoot. I didn't, I didn't, uh, there we go. Oh, that, that got me going for sure. Oh, let me wipe it off. All right, give me two seconds, guys, and I'll be right back at the desk. What's up, Tarx? It certainly. What's up, man? Yeah, you're saying it looks better. Um, I mean, it, it's interesting. Like, again, we're gonna as I as I go, you know, we'll compare more and stuff. But, um, so what I heard when I was out there, Tarx. By the way, it's really good to see you, brother. What I heard when I was out there was that the uh, by the around the end of the year is when Jan was letting me know would be uh, the potential release for the PC emulation software they call it. Yeah, yeah. Working off Saturday calories. What's up, Ryan? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Yeah, we're definitely working them off, man. That got me going. That shit's a lot of fun. Let me take out my earbuds here. Mm. 
Yeah, of course, Terex. Yeah, I'm. I'm the, today's my first day using it at the house. Obviously, I uh, I was able to use it on my trip there for a little bit, but yeah, I'm 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 excited for it, man. I'm 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 and by excited for it, and I already got one, but um, I'm excited for you know some of the games coming out. Like they have Breachers on their list now, since Breachers is already on Pico. I think that made it an easy uh, an easy game for them to add in. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of a general rule. It sounds like with with the with the um, with the Omni guys is if a game is already on the Pico market. It's uh, it should be pretty easy to implement. If it's not, it's kind of got to be ported to basically like working on Pico in order for it to work with the Omni One, is my understanding. So glad you quit smoking. You need your lung capacity. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need it. Yeah. Social VR would be would be interesting. I I know. I mean, I I don't I don't think any of it's secret, but like Riff Riff XR, I know is is one that's a potential, since they were talking to Gingus while we were out there. Um, so that's a potential. But yeah, there I I do think like a social a social VR platform definitely makes sense. Um, you know, especially once they're they got going and and have a player, you know, have people. Uh, in there, but obviously the games that end up being like like breaches and stuff will still be crossplay. Um, I mean, as long as the actual game. You know, would allow it on Pico, right? It's allowed. Uh. I'm tired, guys. That takes it out of me. Ben, Ben, how long? Uh, so since Ben, you're such an OG, how long can you go on the Omni? Like, I feel like I could have given it another another hour and a half or so. Usually I'm done um, around between this time and like and, and 10, but... Yeah, I haven't played Riff yet. I haven't played Riff yet. You can do about three hours, okay? Yeah, my typical streams are about that. I think I could do that too. But man, does it uh, does it take it out of you? That freaking that that's awesome. You must be able to run for years. I don't know how long you've been using. Like, I, I mean, I'm assuming you've been using the Omni stuff for quite a while, Ben. But you must be able to run for a while. Depends on the intensity. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What's your What's your favorite game? so far since 2013 yeah because and they started in like 2012 ish right and pixel or sorry pixel pastel thank you so much for uh for gifting even more subs you're an absolute animal uh i appreciate you um but thanks for getting pixel and uh and um imagination appreciate you buddy you're an absolute animal you're not allowed to have a favorite okay okay i get it i get it i'm just curious i was just curious uh, they're all your favorite, right? That's the that's the correct answer. Uh. Uh, that's that's good stuff, though, guys. I am excited to use it more. You know, like I said, I'll be I'll be using it. Obviously, um, you know, in and out, we'll be rotating that in the catwalk. You know, obviously, we got games like Showdown coming out and stuff. I got to keep playing those. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I, I am I, I'm I'm so excited to be able to use. You know both treadmills i think they both have so many so many good things about them so i'm uh i'm incredibly yeah it is it is dev so i think i think where i'm gonna be really interested in is right is i'm gonna get some like some like buddies so like like the uh you know the i will say so another thing i can say about the omni right is is it is a little bit more compatible for like multiple people right so like the back piece you know there's just a lever and then i can i can raise it and lower it for different heights um, the only thing you would really need is different size overshoes, right? But like I got like the mediums, so I don't know. I probably got a couple buddies that would need the large, but um, you know the mediums can cover kind of all of your average size adult feet. I can invite someone over for multiplayer. I could, I could. I do technically have my the, my fiance hates me because I have four now VR treadmills in the house, but <laughs> you know, hey, come on, you know when you like stuff, you know, this is what happens. Oh, but I will say, um, I'm sweating my ass off and I feel like I'm going to, by the end of this year, I should be in some pretty decent shape as long as I don't eat as many cheeseburgers and drink as many beers as I typically do, but that's probably still going to happen. <laughs> J bar casually moving hundreds of pounds around, just play a single title that isn't accessible on the Omni one. That that's the, that's the name of the game sleek. I mean the. 
if I had a bigger space, like my dream, my dream setup for this kind of stuff, guys, is to have like a, not, I don't know, I don't want to say warehouse because that sounds too big, but like a really big garage, basically, or like kind of like a small, I don't know, like, I don't know, like barn stuff. I don't know, something with like a lot of open space, right? And then you can just have like sections for things. I could have a section for just play space VR, and then I could have a section for treadmills, and then I could have a section for like sim racing stuff. That's my dream. If I ever did this full time, um, I would uh, I would probably try to try to get something like that set up. You're saying everybody's for three player catwalk, homemade, and O1. That is that is a pretty cool mix, Pixel. Right? You get a bit of everything there. Well, hey guys, I did I did plant a bug in uh, in Jan's ear because you know a lot of you guys know, but you know eventually I'd love my my like I love esports in general, right? But like VR esports is incredibly intriguing to me. It's just not really there yet, you know. Um, but I did tell Jan, like, I have a vision, man, in the future, you know, have a big stage, five treadmills on, on you know, five on one side, five on, on the other side, um, you know, and, and having people play games like this against each other, you know, competitive, it's competitive, it's physical, right? You're kind of merging like this, it's like this beautiful mix of, of physical and digital sports, you know what I mean? Um, what, what do you think I hit? My, my record's still on that video that I posted way back of me getting 180, Olin. Virtuix, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have the Omni Arena, which is a four-player setup. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think it'd be a uh, have the Amish build you. Hey, we have a lot of Amish in my, not not too far from me. Tarek, so it probably could happen. Yeah, a huge empty space just for play space stuff would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. I hit I hit one eighty before. It's like esports. Yeah, that's what I mean, Sleekoy. It's like this like combination of uh, you know like. Again, like physical and what I would call digital sports, you know, esports. No, no, no. It was, uh, it was population one, Olin. So I had like my, it was, it was like I clutched up. It was, I was the last one alive against a full squad of three. And I clutched that shit up on the treadmill. And my heart rate, like at, at, during that whole scenario, my heart rate hit 180. I love that video. That's an old one, but I love it. Super excited for esports with the M1. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's my dream, Ben. Is like I, I just, you know, I did, I did like Pavlov League for some time, and I'd love to get back into stuff like that. Like right now, VR just like, right? VR, VR is a niche, and then VR, and then esports within VR is is like that's a niche of a niche. And and I, and some people hate me for saying this. Like there, there currently isn't really VR esports, right? We're getting close, right? Vale had like that major that was really freaking cool, but there's not like a full scene for it yet. There's like people playing around with it, so we need more. We need more, but it'll get there. It'll get there. I don't think we're we're crazy far off anymore. Play space twenty by twenty, yeah. Not just baseball or football. Oh yeah, I, I Arlen. So I mean, if you've ever seen some of like what 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 companies have been starting to do, or some, or there may be just one out there, I can't remember. But like, if you have a huge play space, right? Like they'll have things where it's like you have to run and jump and do these things, but you're running and you're in an open space with no actual things to run and jump over, but you're doing it all in VR and you know, people can see things and it looks really cool. Like I, I've seen something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but I, but I think there's a lot of possibilities. <laughs> Helps it flows up major to the point where VR actually goes fully mainstream. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it will sleek. Oh, it's just, it's just time, right? It's, it's gotta be more accessible P and people and spectatable right which you know that's a that's a big problem for vr is, is a lot of people can't even watch it because they can get motion sick so like being able to have everything be uh yeah it does ivan what's up do you want to see it here ivan hasn't seen it yet so let me just show you let me just show you real quick ivan let me take this stuff off but we'll, we'll do another quick little demo of the omni one but yes ivan i have the bragging rights apparently of being the first person to get an omni one at the house with the uh with the 4e um, obviously this is all like early stuff. It's not, it's, it's only available for pre-order right now, but I was just at, uh, at the Virtuix headquarters in Austin, Texas, hanging out with them and checking out the Omni one. And, and they were very, very, very kind to, uh, to send me one to just get be be early in on it, man. They know I love treadmills and now here we are. Um, Yeah, that's what I mean, Sleekoy. There's got to be eventually like a global option that's just better. But yeah, let's let's show this to, to Ivan while we still have a minute here.
The more interesting something is, the more niche it tends to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Pastel. That is a you're 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 an orator. That's a very good way to say it. I won't put it on the shoes, Ivan. But yeah, this is the Omni One. Um, it's got a big arm here that locks. I can press this button to unlock it, and it holds me up. I did just do a full stream running around on it, so feel free to page back in the video when we're done here if you want. Um, but obviously we'll be using it more. Uh, very early access stuff, man. Like there's only two games available on the store right now for me. Um, you know, and like I said, I'm the only one with the Pico four that has it right now. So obviously when it comes out, there's going to be a lot of players and, or, or as many as there are, uh, um, people ordering it right away. I did get an interesting stat guys from Jan and that's over 50% of the people that, that are already like bought in to Omni ones don't currently own any VR headsets. And I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was a uh, super interesting, but, but yeah, Ivan, it holds you up from the back here. So instead of at the waist, I was sweating my ass off so quickly. Um, and I think that's, you know, you, I, I am able like to pick up my feet a little bit more when I'm booking it on there. And I think that that made me like go, go a little extra hard on it. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I know. God dang it. God. One of these days I'll figure out how to stream, guys. I okay. Okay. That's what I'm leaving it at. Okay. I get it. Yeah, the entire reason for the universe. Yeah, I just told you guys my social security number and my address and you didn't hear it. So, you're not getting it again. Um, what the hell was I even saying? Um, yeah. Okay. I, I think I was just elaborating. Like, yeah, I thought it was super interesting that, that, uh, the people like that over 50% of the people bought in right now, um, do not have a VR headset. Right. So like, I, I think that does show that there is a bit of, of a market out there that, uh, you know, that that's interested in the, um, you know, in the fitness aspects of something like this. Um, even if they've never been like around or in VR, but like, I, I mean, I've been preaching it for years, right? I've told you guys this, you know, I'm typically not a cardio guy. Like I, I'm, I'm usually not running for fun. I'm running if I, if I'm like going towards a bar or like away from, uh, dev blogs, you know, like something like that. But, uh, but yeah, like when you're doing it in VR, it's just, you, you, you're having fun. Right. And like, you're just so, you know, in a lot of ways immersed where you just don't realize how much of a, how much of a workout you're getting. So. Yeah, I just I, I thought that was a really interesting stat um, to learn about. So, uh, yeah, and I will. So again, so for for anybody that's out there that's genuinely interested in eventually getting one, I do believe I'll have a code of some sort or a, at least a referral link um, by the end of the week. So I'll have that to to kind of throw around there. But, but yeah, this is a this is. It's, 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 it's crazy times right now, guys. Cause I, I'm, I am genuinely excited for it. You know, it's been a long time coming for the Omni one. Um, and we'll be rotating them in and out. So I don't think either one replaces the other, right? I think both of them kind of offer different things and we'll see how much closer things get, you know, obviously when there's like PC emulation software for it, but just keep that in mind is both of them offer different things. But yes, yeah, Pixel. I, I do think in a way Omni is bringing, bringing more people into VR. And I mean, and, and as they grow games, right, that brings more people into those games. Like, you know, especially the one I can think of is Breachers. You know, I keep going back to that because that's like the one really like competitive shooter that that I'm I'm particularly very excited for them to bring in. And then I'm, I'm hoping, you know, others uh, follow suit and, and, and do some work. I, I did hear that they had been talking with uh, the folks at Combat Waffle Studios as well. Just a heads up, but yeah, there. It sounds like they've been talking with a lot of with a lot of people out there. They have no shortage of of uh, passion for trying to bring um, more games in, and and that's what we need, right? Like that's what we want. 
you know, obviously being being honest, like I think I think years ago when I was originally doing like when I originally looked into it and I did an interview with Jan, like that was a concern, right? Is is how many games and and I think that uh yeah. I think that they've talked with Vale too, Ivan. Maybe I, like I'm not I, I think that 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 was stated. But yeah, some of it involves being able to port to Pico. So, you know, obviously so that's a bigger lift, I think, for for um, for devs that aren't currently on there. But like, I, I hope Ivan, if you need to put in the word to Tropical or if I need to bug him at some point, too. I mean, like, I, I really hope that more and more of you guys um, get on this, uh, you know, especially the competitive shooters, because that's I want I want more. I want more. <laughs> I always want more. <laughs> They just jump comp mode too. Yeah, yeah, breaches did. Yep. They're ranked mode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 hopeful, guys. I mean, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty cool. All around. All of it's good, right? All com com competition's good. Um, having another consumer VR treadmill on the market is good. It's gonna bring more people. Um, I am all I'm all for it. It's all cumulative. We're all in this together. Pico's a bit tough to work with, but doing what you can, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, who knows, right? Like, who knows, maybe uh, maybe, maybe Jan and the team at Virtuix has some pull with Pico at this point, right? Since they work with it, so. Um, unless you're just saying, like, just developing for it is a bit tough to work with, I have no idea. But. but yeah, so you guys, I guess you guys both, I mean, are, you know, like, you work, you work with the people that are implementing this stuff or you are the people right in some ways like is it is it developing for the pico is tough or is it sometimes just hard to work directly with pico is that what you're saying i'm curious because yeah that that seems to be the, the the main barrier to entry then oh pico needs to be open xr compliant oh Actually, maybe don't. You might stir a pot. You don't want to. You, you don't want to start something you can't finish. Ivan, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh, bother. Yeah, this is this is incredibly fun, guys. I'm just uh, I'm I'm excited. I really am. New Tic Tac video. Let's go. <laughs> Can you export from UE to that? Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Can you export from Unreal Engine to Pico? How noisy is this one? Um, Again, I'll have to do kind of like a side-by-side -side thing. I do think this this one can... I think because I can get my legs up a bit higher when I'm running, I, I do think there might be a bit more noise coming out of the Omni one. Um, Because, like, the bottom of the overshoes... So the, the, the bottom of these overshoes... Come on. There you go. So it's mostly plastic. So this is like a soft bit, but this is all hard plastic versus. Okay. So versus a cat, a cat VR shoe that has, you know, it's got the same kind of felt tip thing. Like this is like plastic, but it's almost like, it's like a, well, it's more like rubbery. Versus this is like hard plastic. So I, I, I do, I think these ones take the cake for being a little bit louder. A <sighs> little bit of both, meaning lack of open XR. Honestly, the pickle reps are a pleasure, but it seems like their hands are very tight. Okay. I think they're making more of a push now, man. You know, like I think that they, I've seen a little bit more stuff coming out from Pico, so I'm I'm curious if they're gonna be doing more. Probably have the same material as the C1. Dang, where's my C1 shoes, Dim? I'd have to dig up my C1 shoes. Were the C1 shoes that hard of plastic though, Dim? I thought they were still kind of a uh... Maybe close. I would I would say closer to the C1. It's still like uh, I can't remember. Was it like a full on like hard plastic on the bottom of the C1? Why am I forgetting that? 
Yeah, it's also already okay. So probably a lot closer to that then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a mech game would be pretty damn cool. Pastel. Mech fights on the Omni? Why not? Yeah, that's what it is, Pixel. Yeah, I like I, I like honestly like mech mech stuff like so so I did like a video you know that that popped off a little bit on the TikTok a little bit ago where I was like oh if you could have any any flat screen game in VR what game would you pick and like I, I think almost I think besides Red Dead Redemption like the second highest answer was like Titanfall two right because I do think I do think like being like mech based stuff you know just makes like VR and and that just kind of like synergize pretty well so. How is strafing, Arlen? I'll have to kind of get back to you on that. I don't know if strafing's like fully implemented or not. Like I wasn't able to, uh, like, like I can turn kind of my body to the side a bit and strafe, but like I can't, sl like sliding my foot wasn't, I wasn't getting much from it today. Um, but I, but I need more time <laughs> and, and, and obviously more games to try that stuff in. Flatter, but still the same material. Yeah, that might be it, Dim. You need to lean back a bit when strafing. Okay. So maybe that that could be what I see. Ben's the OG again. So Ben, explore VR there, guys. He he knows he knows, he's like the all-knowing wise monk, or like wizard, of virtue. He's a virtue wizard, if I may. Um, okay, that's a good tip, Ben. Thank you. Lean back when strafing. I'll have to remember to try that. Do they have plans for adding a folding seat? Um, uh, Ben, is that anything that you're able to answer? I, like, I, I will say that is one thing I do miss is like, I, obviously having a seat on the catwalk is, is like a lifesaver sometimes. So like someone, someone said earlier that some, somebody had modded something or something to put a seat on there. But yeah, I, I'm curious if there would be a, a clean way to do it without messing with the arms. No planets at this time. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, not designed for a seat yet, Olin, but you know, who knows? Like, I'm not allowed to cannibalize the thing, obviously, and, and I'm not going to take anything apart, <laughs> especially this early on with it. Um, but it would be interesting to make, yeah, like some sort of a mod for it. <sighs> I think I'm still tired from my weekend, guys. Metal, metal voting chair. Yeah. <laughs> Still up seat plans on GitHub. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely possible. I know imagination. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I had a long, you know, I've been busy. You know, I was gone from Thursday till, till Monday. Okay. I'll, this is my last thing I'll tell you guys, and then we're going to hop off for the night. But so like my, obviously my weekend was phenomenal. For those of you that don't know, obviously I spent, um, I spent Friday at pretty much all day Friday at Virtuix, um, to check out, you know, we checked out their Omni arena and their headquarters. And then we checked out, you know, the Omni one and there'll be a video coming up very soon on, uh, on what I did there and all that. Um, and then after that, I, uh, Oh, here's another thing. Um, we, we went to, uh, on Thursday night, uh, since that was a kind of a travel day, we actually got tickets to Comedy Mothership. We got VIP tickets. Me, it was me, Otterworldly, Gingus, and Jay Brat, and Jay Brat's cameraman, John. And, uh, so we got, we got, we got tickets to Comedy Mothership with, his, which is Joe Rogan's, um, comedy place. And we, and, and that's what we went to is Rogan and Friends. So the, the lineup was pretty good. It depends on what you like for comedy, right? Um, but there was like Andrew Schultz, Tony Hitchcliffe, and then Joe Rogan was the main guy. Brian Simpson was another one. Um, but yeah, Joe Rogan's set went on for like an hour, but that place is locked down. Like they got security up, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you, they gotta prove that you're not carrying, you know, you gotta lift up your shirt. Um, they'll scan you and pat you down and they lock any, like my smartwatch had to be turned off along with my phone. And then they put it in this bag that they give you back, but the bag is sealed until you leave. So like, it's very, uh, it's very locked tight, but um, that comedy show was pretty, pretty fun. It was a pretty good time. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, so then Friday, obviously I spent all day at Virtuix and then I, Saturday I drove towards Dallas to go to Olin VR's gunstock shop and hang out with him. 
I liked it. It was a good time. It was a good time. We had fun. It was funny. Um, uh, very expensive though. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely share with you guys that, you know, the tickets were only $60, which I was like, oh, that seems like a pretty good deal. Um, but after, so everyone's, you, everyone has to have two drinks minimum. It's been easier to visit prison. Seems like it imagination, but everyone had to have two drinks minimum. Um, but waters, there was no free water. You only could get liquid death for like $8 a can, which is fine. I like liquid death. Yeah. So it was expensive. So for the five of us, right, we got drinks. The, the bill at the end was like $330. <laughs> so, you know, it's it, apparently they make up for the, for the lower price tickets with, uh, with the alcohol. I'm going to snooze this ad. We don't need that one, but I mean, I, I thought it was worth it. I had a really good time. I, I really did. Um, but yeah, so Saturday I, I, I went to, uh, to Olin VR's shop. I got to hang out with him and, and we had a wonderful time. And, uh, I, I, I checked out a Bucky's for the first time. Actually, I, well, I went to two different ones. I went to one on the way, um, to Olin VR's stuff. And then I went to another one, another one on the way back to check it out again. But Bucky's was pretty cool. I don't know if any of you guys have been to a Bucky's, but it's like, it's like a gas station on steroids. It's like a Walmart of a gas station. It's crazy. Um, but I liked it a lot. Uh, I got myself a Bucky, a Bucky Beaver hat. Um, yeah, that was fun. You miss Bucky's? Yeah, that it was, it was wild. Like I loved it. I mean, we got quick trip around here and I love quick trip, but quick trip's not like a mega gas station. It's just a really good gas station. Yeah, I was, I was, I was waiting to say anything pixel cause I wasn't sure if Olin wanted to, but I. I reached out to him like I was like hey I'm gonna have this Pico and I don't have any gun stocks that work with Pico right now some good old okay well I think you meant Bucky's not bussies because I think bussies is a different thing Olin when you say I love me some good old bussies that's something completely different than Bucky's <laughs> I just want to clarify um, but yeah yeah pixel I'm excited because I yeah now I that's that was that's what I let Olin know. I was like, I'm in need of now a Pico gun stack. So I'll be testing some out for him. Did I stutter? <laughs> Let's not kink shame. Sorry. I mean, you know, Olin's Olin. Hey, I was just hanging out with Olin. I mean, he's in, he, if you guys want to know, he's into some weird stuff. You know, he was trying to get me to do really weird feet, you know, feet stuff. I was going to say feet stuff, but. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just kind of rambling, but yeah, we Olin and I did feet stuff. Don't quote me with stocks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, quite the feet. I get it. Nice, Ivan. Nice, Ivan. Good dad joke. Ugh. All right, guys. Hey, I love you all, but I I gotta go. I gotta go do stuff. I'm gonna eat, and I got some work stuff I gotta handle tonight. Cause today was my catch-up day after being gone. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll say another thing. You know, I, I don't mind my job. I kind of like my job. It's very busy though, you know, and it, it, it kind of takes it out of me sometimes, but man, it is t like managing people. You don't really like, like when you take time off, like it's like a bunch of work is still there for you when you get back. You know what I mean? That just doesn't seem too fair, is it? TMI. <laughs> foot edition stock oh my god Olin could you imagine if it just looks like a foot like you you hold the front controller in between like the big toe and the index toe of the foot and then the back controller goes just like in the stump thank you Arlen I'm happy you enjoyed it and thank you pixel I'm happy you got to check out uh the Omni one with me here it's been a long time summit coming since we've been talking about the Omni one guys so Working as you're listening. What's up, Alexander? It's all right. Hey, once I end the stream, though, the VOD will be up if you want to check out some of the stuff. And obviously, I'll have clips coming out. We're why AI is replacing us. AI is looking at us and being like, these guys like feed a little too much. <laughs> we don't. Red Hot VR, thank you for the like on, on the Tic Tac. <laughs> People are the worst. Hey, Ben. Yeah, it's so nice to be able to catch up again and um, for sure. So, yeah, I think um, they do. So so part of this and I'll just throw this out there, Ben, if I get anything wrong, please let me know. Uh, but I believe like Mondays and Fridays. So their Virtuix are, has currently been hosting kind of like a community night for those folks that are, you know, act like currently in the program testing out the beta, uh, basically testing out the Omni one um, in the early in the early parts here. 
Um, and I think there's another one happening this weekend at some point. So I'm going to try to make those. And like when I do, Ben, Ben, do you actually mind if I stream those? Is it okay if I stream those? We can always talk offline too, but I guess I, I should ask that. But yeah, my plan would be if I can get in on those to stream them. I think they go for like an hour or two or something like that. So that's a way to, to show a bit of the multiplayer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'll try to do that, guys. Obviously, it depends. Like the, this weekend, like Sunday, we got Easter plans and stuff. But I will I will try to get in um, for those community nights um, and, and, and stream that so you guys can see a bit more of how like the multiplayer stuff works and all that fun stuff. You get more. Hey, it's all right, Alexander. We all get busy, brother. I'll never blame you for missing a stream because you're busy. But yeah, th good things are coming, guys. I think it's going to be, excuse me, I think it's going to be a pretty exciting year all around. So I'm pumped. A lot of good stuff coming up. All right, I better get out of here, but I love you all. Let's find someone to uh, to hit with a little Raidy Raid on the uh on the on the twitch so if you guys are, are watching me jesus sorry i just hit the raid channel thing and some of these top live streams right now are just wild those can't be real okay <clears throat> all right so following let's see who we're following that's live set up alpha bro i always like alpha bro See what he's up to all right obviously he's rocking some tabor so we'll, we'll hit him up show him some love uh but once again appreciate y'all for being here much love we'll be back on thursday um we'll probably be back on the catwalk on thursday um figuring out something to play i'm not sure if i want to do like veil or try the comp mode and breachers or what but we'll we'll uh we'll, we'll find something to play um but then yeah as 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 we go we'll be we'll be kind of going back and forth a bit with the treadmills so We'll, we'll, we'll keep it interesting. We'll keep it interesting. But cheers, guys. I hope uh, I hope you all have a wonderful night. And let's say uh, let's say hi to Alpha Bro. Bye now. All right, YouTube now. and TikTok are posting things off for you as well. So I'm okay with that. Thanks for being here, and because we will see you on Thursday night around 8 p.m. Central Time. Bye.